Don't you think finger notation is really cool? All right, let's learn it. In this video, I assume you already know basic finger trick notation. If you don't, you should go learn it first, obviously, because this is much more advanced and is based off that. There are two things that finger trick notation communicates. Each of them is communicated differently. One is the actual finger tricks, and the other is regrips and how you're holding the cube when you do those finger tricks. So let's get into part one. So basically there are two parts to how you finger trick something, which finger I use and where I use it. For the fingers, we assign each finger a different letter. So for thumb, it's T, pretty easy. Index, I, middle, M, ring, R, pinky, P. And then on the left hand, it's just lowercase of those letters. So it's pretty easy. Um, left, lower, very easy to remember. And then for where, um, we have to know what move we're doing. So if I was doing a U move, for instance, like that, um, it's in the U layer. So then we number them on the U layer in a clockwise order starting from here, from the top left. So then it's one, two, three, four. And they're numbered by pieces, not by stickers. So don't get confused by that. Uh, if It's just the piece. The if we wanted to be more specific about stickers, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, it's just as clear to say the um, piece because there's no way I could do a push U prime off of this sticker. Now I could maybe do it off of this sticker if I was like, I don't know why I would do that, but I could. But for it, it doesn't really matter. People will understand. It's just as clear to say this. Now, as I said, the second part is regrips. So how you hold the cube. Um, we do that based on thumb location. So thumb on front is TF, and then left thumb is a lowercase t, similar to how we did it with the hands. Um, capital for the right, lowercase for the left. And then we have front, U for up, D for down, B for back, R for right, and L for left. Uh, that's pretty easy. You can get even more specific and stay, say which sticker of that face by putting a dash in there. Um, so T dash, or TF dash one would mean I have my uh, thumb up here, because this is number one, but I would more likely have it up here as number two. So for instance, if I was doing a Brody the Cuber soon, where you do the U move with your thumb like this, um, I would probably mention that you want your right thumb in the two position. So like this, and then this finger trick would be wrote as um, U, and then in parentheses T2, because I'm using my thumb on the second piece. So now we move on to how you write it out. So at the beginning of an algorithm, you're probably going to want to state what grip you have, unless it's very obvious, which it's not almost never, it's never obvious really. Um, and then you're going to want to put that in braces. So the regrip notation where you put your thumbs is wrote in braces. So if you have a regrip in between certain moves or during certain moves, you're going to want to put that in braces, which are those curly bracket things. And then after a move, you can put in parentheses how you finger trick it. So if it's like a not standard uh, finger trick, if I was doing a push with my right hand like this, uh, that's non-standard, I'd say. Um, I'd mention that I'm using, um, after the, writing the U prime, I would put in parentheses uh, one or index on two. So index finger on the two piece, like this. So here's a quick example of how I execute my J A prime, which is really fast. It looks kind of scary because it has a um, rotation at the beginning, but it's really just a regrip putting your left thumb to the bottom. And it has some wide moves, but it's very easy. Uh, so, yeah, I'll write that up there I, I'll well, as I do it kind of in slow motion. And I'll be real with you, the AUF is a little bit awkward because it's kind of in the B layer, but it's not that bad, really. Um, Alright, I'm back. This video was a lot of fun to make, and my next video is going to be super interesting, so make sure to check that one out. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell, you know, the whole shebang.